to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Anne Matee, and today we're going to take a look at using the ladder barrel for runners. Okay, so today Casey is going to help us out, and we're going to use the ladder barrel to figure out where Casey's hamstrings and deep glutes are. We know that runners tend to be overdeveloped in their quads and underdeveloped in the back of their legs. So this is a really great way to prop a person up and help them find that nice hip extension that they have to have to run well and comfortably. So you're gonna come around to the front of the barrel and this apex, the top, is where her hips are gonna go. So you're gonna hop up, put your hips there and you can reach forward and just put your hands on one of the low rungs, whatever feels stable. So she's gonna find all her good Pilates cues, right? So she's got her front ribs drawing into the back and reaching forward like this will really help her find that. Shoulders down, head forward, she knows exactly what to do. So from here, as the teacher, I'm gonna put my hands kind of on either side of her sacrum down here and there's two reasons for that. One is to encourage her length in her lumbar spine and the other is I can feel if she's turning on her high glutes and I don't want her to. For this, when she starts lifting her legs, we want her to find the hamstrings primary and that deep glute will sort of automatically turn on anyway. We don't want just like a, I can lift my leg really fast and that's gonna be all high glute where my fingers are. So let's start with this leg, Casey. And you're just gonna take a nice breath into your length and on your exhale, just go ahead and feel like a nice lift through your heel, right? So I keep some little bit of downward pressure and then go ahead, release that and do a couple pulsations of these. So she's not trying to get, yeah, and she can alternate legs. You could do one and then the other, whatever works. She's not trying to get high. She's trying to get long, right? She's trying to turn this on from here Right? And I can feel that she's keeping her upper glutes nice and soft. So that's what we want. She has to keep thinking about pulling her deep belly up and in to protect this long lumbar curve, reaching her head long, shoulders back, you know all that stuff. So after she's done a few of these, right? And you can also cue, like the front of that hip is kind of opening. Like there's a little eye, eye in that hip and it's just looking straight down. That kind of helps people to feel that little opening on the front of the hip. So after she does a couple of the, couple more of these, right, you'll know how many your client when you're, they're getting tired. Go ahead and relax your legs, relax your head, and this is a really nice stretch for her low back. She can find wherever she's comfortable here, right? And when you breathe into your belly, do you feel like your back is opening? Isn't that nice? So it's just a great place to like relax all that after she's worked. So we can up the ante a little bit for the next one. I'm gonna have her come up again. Ready? She's going to find all of her things, which she knows automatically, but you'll have to, you know, take a few moments with your clients to find all that again. And then we have a little prop. So this is a two pound weight. You're not going to get more than that. I mean, you know, if you have a bigger person, three pound. If you have a really strong person, three pound is great. If you have a really, really big dude, maybe four pounds, but it's not about the heaviness. Go ahead and with this left leg, go ahead and bend your knee and even more. So it's coming straight up like she's gonna make a footprint in the ceiling and flex your foot. I'm gonna take this weight and put it right in her little knee pit there. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna do everything she just did. So she lost the length of her leg, but she gained a little extra weight. So now she's gonna try and make a footprint on the ceiling. So it's a little bit harder, right? Yeah. And it's not really because the weight is all that much heavier than her lower leg was, but it's because it's forcing her into this deep glute a little bit more. Right, so just do one more. She's trying to open the front of her hip, keep her lumbar curve, and reach right into that deep glute hamstring. Go ahead and straighten your leg, and just hang down. Good, and rest. And of course, you do both sides, but that's a really nice way to add, I mean, it's really pinpointed, right? Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, if there, there's all sorts of um, variations you can do, come on up and we'll just show a couple little variations. Oh, but stay, stay here. Oh, sorry. Yep, no, no problem. So she's just going to do, we can add all sorts of, you know, fun things. If she likes this and she's getting really good at it, keeping all of her length, reach both legs long, flex your feet, reach through your heels for this. It's a nice kind of sitting bone yeah. heel connection. And then do little teeny circles out, both legs. Yeah, right. So I'm going to keep reaching her here, right? Keep dropping your tail, 
Keep finding your front rib cage, great. And then she could go the other way for a few, right? So she can move, right, in using this stuff. She could do some heel clicks, clicking them together, right? So there's lots of variations and go ahead and rest. So you can be creative with that, but there's no doubt what's working when you do this, right? <laughs> you can't use anything but that, right? So once you get them in this great body long position, go, and you can go ahead and scoot back. Once you get them in that great position, then they've got to work that. And then the next time you go for a run, right, you can say, tell the person, your client, to remember what that felt like. And especially when they start their run and then when they start to get tired, remind them to keep coming back to that feeling of what that was working. And that's really going to protect a lot of stuff, lower down, knees, etc. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question you'd like answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or on our forum. See you next time and never stop learning.